The biggest rocket stage NASA has ever built for the world's most powerful rocket is taking shape right here in the Rocket City. Part of the Space Launch System, or SLS, was just put into the 20-story tall test stand. Renata Gregorio got to take a look at it today and joins us live. Renata. Connor, we all know the Saturn V rocket took us to the moon for the very first time. Well, the SLS will take us back there and much farther all the way to Mars. The people making this happen say that we are on, if not ahead of schedule. NASA's largest rocket stage ever. The test liquid hydrogen tank for the space launch system is loaded up and being wired into the test stand. That's where it'll be tested to survive the 8 million pounds of thrust it will have to bear to shoot out of our atmosphere. The transportation and installation of this was a significant endeavor. You know, half a million gallon capacity in that tank. It weighs 100,000 pounds. The sheer size of the parts may be the biggest challenge. Our this article here is this part of it right here. What the world will be watching when the first people lift off to go to Mars, it'll look like what you're looking at right here. The SLS test stand is more than 200 feet tall and the rocket more than 300. I don't know if it's big enough. In 2020, the SLS and Orion spacecraft will shoot 40,000 miles beyond the moon. Then in 2023, the first people will get on board to fly around the moon. And finally, in the 2030s, it's destination Mars for astronauts. We've been working on designs for so long, but actually get the hardware up here and to start working with it is incredibly rewarding. The test will happen towards the end of May. Stepping back from time to time and realizing that what we're doing here is enabling us to get back into space, to the moon and beyond, you know, it's just incredibly satisfying. On course to blaze the trail across the universe, he says they're right on schedule. A test on one of the SLS engines was just fired up today in Mississippi. The core stage that you just heard about made it here during the government shutdown, but they say it didn't put the workers back. They still worked on it and everything is still on schedule. Putting the Valley first live in Huntsville, Renato Gregorio, WZDX News.